Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Shomus Biology. I know you are anxious to know what are the qualifying marks for CSINET examination, particularly CSINET life science examination because we deal with CSINET life science. So if you are a CSINET life science aspirant, you always have this question in your mind. How much score you should get to be able to qualify the CSINET JRF or CSINET lectureship. Okay, so I am going to end this question once for all. This one video is going to stay with you and do not look into any other video because remember one thing, all the cutoffs and everything declared, the cutoff variance is very limited. For percentage is 0.5 to 1 and 1.5 percentage difference and percentile is even 0.2, 0.3 percentile difference. So every single session you ask the same question and there are plenty of YouTubers making separate videos on this every single session regarding the cutoff. You don't need to look into any of that because there is only a simple answer to it and I am going to show you that answer today. Okay. So ek bar mein khadam karte hain, ye video dekh lena, screenshot le lena, apne paas rakh lena, be it a June net examination, be it December net examination, this is going to be true always. So what we are going to talk here, basically we are going to discuss about the CSR net qualifying marks for junior research fellowship that is JRF as well as for lectureship LS. For different category, be it unreserved means general category or OBC, SC, ST, PWD and EWS category. For all the categories, I am going to give you the uh, answer to this question regarding the how much marks you should get. Now one thing I want you to understand here is that always always no matter whether they are calculating based on a uh, percentile or percentage but always try to measure your progress for any examination in actual real marks csinet is conducted in 200 marks there is no ambiguity in that and how much you need to score to qualify so i'll give you the core answer to it how much marks you need to qualify how much marks you need to score to qualify for grf for ls once you get that mark out of 200 you know, it's very simple calculation. Anyone can do that. You don't need complications like percentile, like normalization. Those are bullshit, crap. You don't need to go through this. So the first thing I'm going to give you is regarding the total marks that you need to achieve in order to qualify. For unreserved or general category, we are talking about JRF first. So for unreserved or general category, it's 106 to 120. So for a safe side, you need to score 120 out of 200. If you score 120 out of 200, no matter what category you belong, you will get GRF 100% sure. That is a guarantee of Shomu. Okay. And next thing is rest of the other categories for GRF. So you'll go with EWS category 68 to 72 marks. OBC category 88 to 96 marks. SC category 72 to 75 marks. ST category 64 to 70 marks. PWD category 50 to 55 marks. So the least marks needed to qualify is from the PWD category uh, because of a certain reason 50 to 55 rest of them you can see. So if you're targeting from a particular category, you already have that category certificate with you. You can apply it. Obviously, uh, it's it's uh, it will be a very, uh, you know, uh, dumb idea not to apply with a category if you have that. So apply through it. But always think of the maximum marks that I am writing here. Why there is a variance? Why there is a range of marks? Because of different years, they have different cutoff ranges. So, but this is the cutoff range. Always they are going to follow. Okay, They have been following actually. Uh, if the exam becomes really easy, many people qualify, then maybe the cutoff increase. But I don't think this is going to be the case. Okay, So this is the idea for the JRF. Now what about LS or lectureship? Again for lectureship for a unreserved category means general category maximum is 108 minimum 96 you need to get 96 to 108 so 108 if you get 108 then you can make sure that you'll get ls or lectureship quite easily as an unreserved or general category candidate for ews 66 to 70 marks obc 80 to 84 marks sc 60 to 66 marks st 58 to 62 marks and pwd 50 to 54 marks so again pwd category basically uh, need to qualify the examination only 25 percent marks that is you'll get 50 to 55 near about that you'll get it no matter what situation is it. but rest of the others have a particular cutoff range between them okay i believe you have a clear idea now once you know the marks you can easily calculate the percentage because the total examination is of 200 
So whatever marks you are going to get, divide it with 2 and you'll get your percentage value. That's quite easy. That's very easy to calculate. But for the last two CSI net examination, the result has been uh, discussed and the cutoff is declared based on percentile score. So the percentile score, I never like the percentile score. I have stated it many times. They have declared the results for chemical science, earth science, uh, for physical science, mathematical science, all in percentage last time, but they declared life science in percentile value, which is very bad. It's not a good idea because you'll not get a sense of how much you uh, get to qualify. But still, I'm going to give you a list of percentile because it's not very easy to give you a percentile data because percentile data depends on uh, the marks scored by individuals in that particular examination in that particular session. It's a comparative mark scheme. But still, I'm going to give you a simple idea that if you are from unreserved category or general category to get uh, to get JRF, you need to have 98.8 to 99 percentile to qualify. So if you get 99 percentile, you can make sure that whatever, whatever you apply for JRF or LS, you are going to get it no matter what situation it is. Okay. And uh, for <clears throat> for LS for unreserved category, you need to get 97 percentile. So 97 and above, you'll get LS. 98.8 or 99 and above, you'll get JRF no matter what. Apart from that, rest of them are pretty flat. So for EWS, OBC, SC, ST and PWD, uh, it will range for JRF, it will range from 91 percentile to 96 percentile. And for EWS, OBC, SC, ST and PWD category, it will range 80 to 94 percentile. Okay. And why there is no variance in this? Because try to understand the number of students applied as an OBC. Among them, there will be a percentile. So the percentile value will not fluctuate as often like a marks or a percentage value. It's not the thing. So try to understand this. Okay. So this is a percentile score that you need to get. Uh, so 97 and above, you'll get LS. Uh, 98.8, 99 and above, you'll get GRF as an unreserved category, okay? And uh, 91 to 96 percentile, so safe side is 96 percentile and above for any other category to qualify GRF and uh, 94 percentile and above any category to qualify for LS. But again, let me tell you one thing, this 94 and 95, so the least percentile for a safer thinking is 94 percentile to get LS, 96 percentile to get GRF. So if you don't score, if you haven't scored more than 94 percentile from other category and more than 96 percentile from the other categories, you'll never ever qualify CSI net life science examination at your life. So period, there is no doubt about it. You can easily get to know about your score by seeing the uh, answer key and then find out your percentile, calculate your percentile and you don't need to calculate the percentile if you can calculate your marks that is the best way to go because i already mentioned the marks that you need to get in order to qualify so that's all about uh, the different marks and score one should get in order to qualify grf and ls agar grf ls ko qualify karna hai <coughs> isi hisab se karna hoga 120 main hi bolta hu like i i always tell my students my batch students that you need to score more than 120 to get grf more than 110 to get ls from a general category and i believe that everyone should uh, uh, target that marks because once you get that marks no matter what category you belong you are going to get it even you are going to get a better rank with that good marks okay so that's all about the idea aise hi karna hai ye cheez dhyan mein rakh lo dimag mein bitha lo main yahan se ja raha hu to you can take a screenshot of it uh, so that you get to know about it very clearly or koi bhi video dekho bar bar se video banate hain log har saal har session mein log aake puchhenge exam dene ke baad fir se video denge kitne bar dena hai ek hi video hai ek hi cheez hai koi bada kuch hai nahi isko abhi padhne wala hai 40000 padhane wala hai 50000 ho gaya to ye this is the youtube will be loitered with it it will be very cluttered right now so that's why it's very important that uh, you keep this in your mind and follow this it's going to stay with you forever okay so that's all about it the important marks that you get to qualify csi net jrf and csi net ls in life science if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to get more videos like that and also remember one thing if you want to get more than 120 even more get more than 140 how to achieve that how to get in there we teach this in our in our coaching 
in our online coaching program you can try it out there's a uh, details in uh, in this number you can you can simply whatsapp this number registration is going on for the upcoming session thank you bye